after the withdrawal of Rofococcia Vioxx, there was great concern that the last remaining drug in the same class, Celecoxib or Celebrex, might share the same risks of increased heart disease that led to the withdrawal of Vioxx. And so the FDA mandated a large safety trial to compare Celecoxib with two of the non-selective older NSAIDs, ibuprofen and naproxen. And that trial was known as Precision. Uh, it's been going on since October of 2006. We enrolled the first patient. It ended up being 24,000 patients, 8,000 with each of the three drugs. And the primary purpose was to assess non-inferiority. Well, it turns out that the highest event rates that we saw, cardiovascular event rates, were with ibuprofen, naproxen was intermediate, and celecoxib was the lowest. This results in a p-value of less than 001 for non-inferiority. So we did learn that celecoxib was non-inferior to ibuprofen or naproxen with respect to cardiovascular risk. We did collect some secondary endpoints, which we consider hypothesis generating, and uh, we saw much higher rates of gastrointestinal adverse effects with ibuprofen and naproxen, and we particularly saw increased rates of renal adverse events uh, with ibuprofen. And so in several other areas, the older conventional NSAIDs actually had higher event rates than did uh, celecoxib. We used the standard prescription doses. Uh, in fact, the actually the maximum doses that were available for celecoxib. We used slightly less than the maximum doses for ibuprofen and naproxen. And all three drugs produced comparable degrees of pain relief, which we think make the case very clearly uh, that the drugs were being used in a, in a fair comparison. Well, I think physicians will need to look at this very carefully uh, and think about, for patients with increased cardiovascular risk, what drugs should they administer. Uh, and uh, we're not going to make immediate recommendations. We're going to leave that to the regulatory authorities. But we think we've added uh, some important information uh, to what's in, in the public. We're never going to get a trial like this again. And the results are, uh, are certainly informative. Discuss well, there that. was a little rush to judgment here, you know. There was a hypothesis that somehow COX-2 inhibition would be bad based upon what happened with Robococcin. Drugs are much more complex than that. And they have a myriad of effects. And when you look at all the effects, then you can find out what they do. You can't just look at one domain and understand them. Trial. This database is very large and we'll be publishing uh, further studies for many years.